So um, when it comes to mobility between the UK and the EU, um, Erasmus Plus has proved to be a, a successful program. Uh, the numbers show it. I mean, the UK is the third destination for Erasmus Plus students in higher education, especially. Uh, and also, for example, the UK is one of the biggest users of Horizon 2020 funding. So in research and in education, higher education especially, uh, whatever Brexit leads us, it must lead to a point in which the Erasmus program stays as close as it is today with the UK being a member state. So uh, from the students' perspective, we have been working on this uh, to make sure that the, the policymakers hear us and uh, they understand that uh, when they negotiate Brexit, they cannot use the Erasmus Plus card as something that can be negotiable, it's something that has to stay as close as it is. Even if you move to a scenario where no deal happens, we hope that the universities, at least the universities in the UK, manage to mobilize themselves and create a program that allows students to um, integrate in other countries. At the end of the day, um, Erasmus Plus and international mobility in general are part of the solution for the problems that Brexit raised. So whatever Brexit takes us, they have to uh, keep international mobility an opportunity. Okay.